Alright, what's up pinball fans? Um, today I want to talk a little bit about video and VPX video settings. Um, some people have some issues with different things, you know, maybe a little stutter or whatever. So I'm going to tell you how to try different versions, uh, maybe some settings to try, and um, see if it'll help you. So first of all, um, getting into uh, NVIDIA, I don't have an AMD card, so... Pretty much on the NVIDIA stuff, though, uh, any uh, graphics driver, you can pretty much leave them default. Um, if it has a power performance mode, then I, I would enable that. So really, the only thing I change in NVIDIA itself is the preferred maximum performance. So I'm under power management, I just put it on maximum. Um, and then, of course, for the uh, color stuff, you want to go to... Uh, if you go to your resolution, you go down here, you want to check NVIDIA, you want to make sure that your uh, output is on full. So if it's unlimited, go ahead and check, put it on full, hit apply. That, that'll that help uh, make sure all your monitors. All right. And then also on adjust video color settings, you go down here, you want to check NVIDIA settings. You want to click on the advanced tab and you want to make sure that all the dynamic range of colors on full on these also. Okay? That'll help get rid of the black bar on loading uh, videos in uh, Pinup Popper. But like I said, as far as video settings, I really just put it on maximum performance. I don't really mess with any of the other stuff. Um, so most of your settings, settings are going to come in uh, VPX itself. So... On the original V Pinball X, which is 10.74, if you did the baller installer or my updates, um, you want to go to your video settings. You want to, of course, make sure you're on the correct resolution. And uh, for this, you want to have force exclusive full screen mode. Now, you need to turn this off when you're adjusting tables, but. If you're playing, you definitely want this checked. You want um, FPS and VSync on one. You want your max pre-rendered frames on one. Okay. Um, I uncheck. Uh, I don't care for ball trails, but that's up to you. You want cabinet anti-stretch. Um, as far as on the left here for post-processing and all that, I use Quality FXAA. I don't use Sharpen or Brute Force or any of that, and it looks pretty good like that. So these are my settings for this. You can look at it. Um, if for some reason you have a little bit of issue with stutter and stuff, you might could turn off some of these reflective, dynamic, and ambient occlusion stuff. Um, but overall, this is the best setting for 10.7.4. All right? So now, now we're going to go to the DirectX version of 10.8. This is the direct, DirectX version of 10.8. So you want to have frame pacing. Um, you leave those zero. Same thing, post-process uh, AA. I put on quality FX AA. Um, and I use forced anastropic texture filtering. And for the ambient occlusion and reflective mode, I put both of those on static. And the max texture, of course, unlimited. I don't use ball trail or any of that other stuff. Um, I haven't tried this new force round ball compensate perspective. Uh, we'll I might mess with that later on. But uh, if you're doing the DirectX version, I suggest you put it on uh, exclusive full screen. And if you have a 10-bit uh, color monitor, you can also check that. Make sure it's on the right resolution and the right hertz. So mine is a 164, so I need to check that there. And that's about it. This is what I use. Now, if you're using a 10.7 table and in 10.8, and you notice that the bloom and stuff is really bright, you could um, adjust it per the table. Or if you want to turn it off completely, like you don't like the the bright glow you could uh, force bloom filter off right here um, you could do it per table though you don't if you don't want to do it for all of them so this is my video settings I'm gonna save this for global application settings so we hit save 
Now I'm going to open a table. Let's open uh, Die Hard. Now let's go back to the video settings. So if I wanted to have something for this, so I could click uh, specific table override. And then I could check uh, maybe force bloom off. If you're having issues with uh, flashes and stuff, having you a little bit of lag or something, um, you could do that per table. Save override. Um, and also, so frame pacing is good for input, but it, it makes your system take a little bit of hit. So you, what you could try is you could try adaptive sync and then set your frame rate to whatever your resolution. So mine's 164. I could do just like that, 164 with adaptive sync. And that'll play pretty good too. Okay. Um, but I have no issue with uh, my card uh, doing frame pacing. Now, and for me, uh, my setup, for this setup and my cab itself, I have the best results running GL. So I'll show you what I do. Let's go ahead and close this out. So here's um, the GL version. So we're going to go Preferences, Video. Now on this, you do not want exclusive full screen, okay? Um, actually, you need to open the other one up to turn 10-bit off. So let me go back because it'll give you some kind of error. So let's open DirectX back up. Let's uncheck Force 10-bit monitor. Let's save that. Now, go preference, video options, let's go to window mode. Alright, you want to make sure your resolutions, width, and height are correct. Um, and that's it. Like I said, I use frame pacing, quality FXAA, and that's about it. Static AO, static and balls, unlimited. Force onostropic texture and filtering for quality. Um, and that gives you the best look and uh, frame rate for me. You can try that out. Um, like I said, some systems, the DirectX version with uh, exclusive full screen runs better. And some, uh, I know the higher end NVIDIA cards, they seem to do better with the GL into window mode. So, just try them out. Let me know what you think. Like I said, if you have an issue with Bloom, um, making your system lag on a, on a little lower end PC or something. Um, try that. Try a force bloom filter off and uh, see how that does for you. It might help you out a lot. Okay. Till next time. Hope it helps you guys out. If you got any questions, throw down in the comments. And uh, till next time.